welcome to On Air with AIB. I'm Rohan Joshi. And I'm Ashish Shakya. If you're watching us on Hotstar, congratulations. This video is probably still buffering. And if you're watching us on Star World, don't lie. Because nobody watches Star World. <laughs> Seriously, Star, they are called torrents. <laughs> Everybody has them. All right, first things first. What is this show all about? It's very simple. A country of a billion plus people with a bunch of complicated issues that just needs to chill out, relax, loosen up, and laugh at itself every once in a while. He's talking about China, of course. <laughs> On that note, let's get right into it. Today, we're going to talk about India's national sport, corruption. You remember corruption. Come on, you remember corruption. It's that thing that you used to care about before beef. <laughs> Way back when kisne kitna khaya was way more important than kisne kya khaya. <laughs> Corruption is a bit like peeing in the shower. It's disgusting when someone else does it, but once in a while, you'll happily do it as well. <laughs> like it's dirty, but it's damn convenient, man. It's so convenient. It's also one of those things that pretty much everybody has an opinion on. Corruption has been mentioned in the budget itself. He just got screwed by autocorrect in real life. Every time I look at Rahul Gandhi, it's like he wants to be a meme. <laughs> now, here's the thing. Talking about corruption is really easy, but there's very few people that actually have the guts to expose it. They're called whistleblowers and their lives are amazing. Mishra claims he fears for his life as he opposed corruption in the prison department. Satendra Dubey was murdered because he was trying to expose large-scale corruption. S. Manjunath, he was also murdered for stealing a petrol pump, selling adulterated fuel. It's so sad that in India, exposing corruption is basically a way to outsource your own suicide. Like when you want to kill yourself, but you also want it to be a surprise. <laughs> now, we started talking about whistleblowers recently thanks to the Vyapam scam, where this happened. Dr. Arun Sharma has been found dead under mysterious circumstances. Akshay Singh, a reporter, died under mysterious... Mysterious... Mysterious circumstances. Right. So, if you believe that all those people actually died under mysterious circumstances, you probably also believe that Zaba Pelaga Namak Ishka is a song about fresh lime soda salted. <laughs> yeah. Very sneaky, Gulzar Sahib. Very, very, very sneaky. Now, with so many Vyapam-related people dying mysteriously, you would think that Ashish Chaturvedi, who's one of the key whistleblowers behind the expose, got security so amazing, so amazing, that it is beyond Z+. On any given day, Ashish, who started out as an RTI activist, can be seen on his cycle, weaving his way through the alleys from one destination to the next. As his personal security officer struggles to keep pace, also on a bicycle, right behind him. That's right. Ashish Chaturvedi's security is one guy following him on a cycle. It's like the cops ask themselves, what is the least we can do? And then did half of that. <laughs> like, in fact, when you think about it, the government hasn't given Ashish Chaturvedi anything. They've just given some other dude a cycle. And here, here's the best part, all right? This is an improvement. Earlier, the guy was made to ride double seat. <laughs> so, hang on, hang on. Let's put this into let's put this into perspective. If someone came and shot Ashish Chaturvedi right now and just hung around at the crime scene, the cops would come and take that guy away in a car. <laughs> now, when you hear about stuff like this, you've got to ask yourself, why be good? Why bother? Satyendra Dubey was good. He complained about corruption in highway projects. And here's his medal. Three people have been convicted of the murder of whistleblower Satyendra Dubey, but the family isn't completely happy about it. The reason those people have been convicted on charges of robbery, while the corruption angle hasn't really been taken up. Yep. Mm. Just as Satyendra Dubey was exposing corruption, he happened to be robbed by people who happened to be armed, and he just happened to be killed in the scuffle, and bulls just happened to be full of shit. <laughs> Now, in 2014, India finally adopted a Whistleblower Protection Act and, you know, credit where it's due, it was a good start. 
But now there's a problem. The amendments to the Whistleblower Act has uh, sparked outrage among civil society activists, alleging that they, these amendments actually got rushed through in the Lok Sabha, promising that it had made it more difficult to report corruption. Yeah, the government already wants to dilute the act with a bunch of amendments, one of which is this. Under the new amendments, there will be no protection for information on classified government documents. There will also be no protection for giving information that's exempted under the right to information. All right, look, protecting sensitive information, especially about things like defense, economic interests and national security is important. Nobody's saying that give out that information randomly, especially not to this guy who in July filed an actual, for real, serious RTI inquiry asking for our nuclear launch codes. <laughs> I, I love this guy's optimism. He's like that one friend that everyone has who gets all sad when he hears about Scarlett Johansson getting married. <laughs> the, the larger problem is this, all right? Broad terms like national security are really easy to abuse. And nobody knows this better than a reporter in Mumbai called Tarakan Dwivedi. We Mumbai in the news of Mumbai that after 26-11, the government had asked for a new atyadhunik hathiyar. And where it was kept, in Almari, it was सड़ रहे थे बारिश का पानी छत से टपकता हुआ उस पर आता है यप द न्यू वेपन्स वी गॉटन जस्ट आफ्टर 2611 वो जस्ट सिटिंग इन एन आर्मरी अंडर अ लीकी रूफ सोकिंग इन वाटर सो इफ देयर वाज अनदर टेररिस्ट अटैक इन बॉम्बे द टेररिस्ट वुड हैव गन्स एंड आवर गाइस वुड हैव पिचकारीज आल्सो द ओनली टाइम इट इज ओके फॉर गन्स टू बी सोकिंग इन वाटर इज इफ यू आर मेकिंग गन दाल and step one of the recipe is soak guns in water overnight. <laughs> like, you know you have a problem when Sanjay Dutt is better at taking care of guns than the RPF. <laughs> now, Vivedi should have been applauded for his story, except he was arrested instead and charged under a section of the Official Secrets Act, which technically meant that he's a spy. Dude, he's a spy. A spy. A spy. This must be so pissing off for actual Indian spies. There's a raw agent somewhere in Pindi right now going, Abbe, I've been undercover for 16 years. My wife is a goat. My son is this satellite phone that I call Raju. So screw you for handing out spy certificates to random people like their bloody Sodexos. Now, luckily, luckily the Bombay High Court eventually threw the case out because, duh. But again, you've got to ask yourself, why be good? Because here's problem number two. The current act and the amendments do not allow anonymous complaints. You have to give the authorities your identity. And if you don't, nothing's going to be done about your complaint. And of course, the authorities are bound by law to protect my identity. And the idea is that, you know, well, if your complaint is true, then you give your name. Na. Problem kya? Naam do na. Problem kya? Problem is that, sir, I'm severely allergic to bullets entering my body. <laughs> like even gluten-free, sir. I've tried like the bullets. Just <laughs> bad. Now, anonymity is one of the most crucial aspects of being a whistleblower. If you take that away, there is nothing left. It's like taking matches away from Chandrachur Singh. <laughs> <laughs> you take that away and all you have is a guy who looks like he requests gazelles at a house party. <laughs> like, in fact, whistleblowers wish they were as anonymous as Chandrachur Singh. Like, Simply put, anonymity saves lives, all right? In America, the informant Deep Throat brought down the Nixon presidency in the 70s and still his name was kept secret for 31 years. Basically, abroad, whistleblowers are like Voldemort. You are literally not allowed to say their name. But in India, they're like Rahul. Naam to suna hoga. Which brings us to problem number three. If a civil servant exposes corruption in my department, as the boss, I could harass that person endlessly because there's no punishment for me doing that. And that brings us to Ashok Khemka. He's an IS officer who's exposed a bunch of shady stuff, including a land deal that allegedly involved Robert Vadra, aka the Freddie Mercury of Gurgaon. <laughs> and here's how things are going for Mr. Khemka. IS Adhikari Ashok Khemka is only four tabadles due to his transfer to the earth of the earth. In 21 years of the career, there are 46 tabadles less than 40. Ashok Khemka has been transferred 46 times and his latest posting is in the archaeology department. Yup, the archaeology department, the others folder of the IAS. 
Ashok Khemka has been transferred around the country so much that he's the only guy on earth who gets excited when his flight is cancelled. <laughs> Ashok Khemka has been transferred so much his native place is roaming. <laughs> Ashok Khemka is the only guy who, after getting married, having kids, getting a promotion, still has people ask him, Ashok, तुम सेटल कब हो रहे हो यार? In fact, Ashok Khemka has been transferred four times just while we've been telling you these jokes. <laughs> And he's going to keep getting transferred because remember there is no penalty in the act for harassing somebody at the workplace. Which brings us to problem number four. The new amendments also limit the Whistleblower Act to some provisions of the Right to Information Act. According to the new amendments, in a lot of cases, your complaint can only be based on information that came from an RTI. Now, look, the RTI is very useful, as this government ad will show you. पापा ये सड़क तो बड़ी जल्दी टूट गई पता नहीं कैसा मटेरियल लगाते हैं पापा ये सड़क वगैरह तो जनता के पैसों से बनती है अगर इसके निर्माण में कोई भी गड़बड़ी हुई है तो इसके बारे में जानने का हमारा पूरा अधिकार है अच्छा हाँ पापा हर नागरिक को सूचना का अधिकार है बस संबंधित विभाग के सूचना अधिकारी के पास जाओ मात्र दस रूपए देकर आर लगाओ और जो भी जानकारी चाहिए तीस दिनों के भीतर पाओ सूचना का अधिकार लाए पारदर्शिता मिटाए भ्रष्टाचार Let's give the RTI Act credit where it's due. It, it goes a long way in exposing corruption. Uh, for example, RTI queries really help in exposing the other scam. But, but there is a whole bunch of corruption that happens beyond the scope of an RTI. Take Anand Rai, who exposed Vyapam. He only found suspicious documents when he went through the suitcase of Jagdish Sagar, who is now one of the key accused. And you can't file an RTI to look into somebody's suitcase. I would know. My mother has tried several times. And. Under the new amendments, Anand Rai's information would not count because it didn't come from an RTI. And this is a man who has been getting death threats. Look, if you want to expose corruption in this country, your options can't just be "I want to do good things for India" versus "I want to live." You cannot have people dying left, right, and center for telling the truth in a country whose motto is literally "Satya Mev Jayate." Truth alone triumphs. There isn't an asterisk at the end that says, "Bro, we said truth." <laughs> Nobody said anything about the truth teller. Not our problem. Our manager said, "Bad karo." And the sad part is that when we hear about deaths like these, our reaction is always like, "Kya zarurat thi isme padne ki? Kyu padhe isme?" You know what? Zarurat thi because, for example, the Vyapam scam has allegedly led to 2,000 unqualified doctors treating people, and that's not good for anybody. Doctor, doctor. मलेरिया If you're okay with revealing your identity, because if you don't, nothing will be done about your complaint. The result: people get away. If you're okay with state-of-the-art protection, like a slow dude on a bicycle, the result: everyone gets away, and one cop gets fitter. What is ridiculous is that these super discouraging amendments to the Whistleblower Act have already passed the Lok Sabha, and they could come up for voting in the Rajya Sabha just weeks from now if there isn't some serious noise about it, and they'll just go through unnoticed. And if that happens, well, really, again, why be good? Also, given everything we just learned about whistleblowing, someone really needs to rewrite and update that RTI ad that we just saw earlier and make it more realistic. So we decided we'd go ahead and do that for you. पापा देख के पापा ये सड़क तो बड़ी जल्दी टूट गई पता नहीं कैसा मटेरियल लगाते हैं इस भ्रष्टाचार से मैं तंग आ चुका हूँ कभी कभी तो मन करता है कि शहर छोड़ के चला जाऊं नमस्कार बाबू जी शहर छोड़ने की बात हो रही है प्रकाश राज जी जी हाँ सिर्फ शहर क्यों तुम दुनिया क्यों नहीं छोड़ दे दुनिया छोड़ दू देश में भ्रष्टाचार एक्सपोज करने वालों के लिए नई स्कीम बनी नई स्कीम विजल ब्लोवर प्रोटेक्शन एक्ट लेकिन इस समय शहर या दुनिया कैसे छोड़ सकते हैं जी भ्रष्टाचार का खुलासा करना है तो अब विजल ब्लोर को नाम देना पड़ेगा नाम तो सोने की ढक्कन की तरह है एक बार निकल गया तो फ्लैट हो जाओगे लेकिन खुलासे करना तो जरूरी है ना जैसे कैबिनेट में भ्रष्टाचार हो तो नेशनल हाईवे वाला भ्रष्टाचार सैंड माफिया खलास 
और वो बिल्डर माफिया ट्रांसफर ट्रांसफर और फिर मौत लेकिन जाने माने विलन प्रकाश राज जी सरकार तो जरूर सच बताने वालों की रक्षा करेगी ना <laughs> माफ कीजिएगा ये ना जाए <laughs> देखो भाई विजल ब्लोअर बन के दुनिया छोड़ने के कई तरीके लेकिन कमाल की बात यह है मौत जैसे भी हो वो मानी जाएगी मिस्टीरियस पर अगर इसकी जांच हुई और सच सामने आ गया तो अरे पगले जांच का कोई निर्धारित समय तो है ही नहीं कार्रवाई शुरू होने से पहले तुम ही खत्म हो जाओगे <laughs> बहुत ज्ञान देता था मैं हूं जाना माना विलन प्रकाश राज और विलन सिर्फ फिल्मों में हारता है असल जिंदगी में नहीं तो याद रखिए अगर आप में है जुनून सच बताने का तो हौसला भी रखिए जान गवाने का जिंदा रहना तो कभी मत जागो भागो ग्राहक भागो भागो ग्राहक भागो